our long journey towards getting hands-on with the final version of the Samsung Galaxy Ring is now finished. Having finally worn the Samsung Galaxy Ring for over a week, there's a lot I can now say about the Ring. Is it good? Is it comfortable? Is it better than Aura's? Let's dive in and find out. Value. Samsung's model clocks in at $399, £399, and around $750 Australian dollars. For that price, you get the ring, the charging case, and access to a sizing kit before your ring arrives to ensure that you get the perfect fit. This isn't too dissimilar to its competitors. While Rincon, Ultrahuman, and Aura smart rings are technically cheaper, market leader Aura also recommends that you pay a $5.99 premium subscription fee after the first six months to ensure you get the most out of your ring. So, Samsung's upfront costs are higher, and probably too high at that. However, without a subscription, it works out cheaper than Aura long term, although not quite as cheap as the Ultra Human and Ringcon offerings. Whether it's the one ring to rule them all, only time will tell. One distinct barrier to owning the Samsung Galaxy Ring is that it's designed to work seamlessly with the Samsung Health app. So, you'll need either one of the best Samsung phones or an Android phone running Samsung Health, like my Oppo, to make the most out of it iPhone users are unfortunately out of luck. Design and features. It comes in sizes ranging from US size 5 to size 13, ranging in weight from 2.3 to 3 grams. The exact battery size actually depends on your ring size. The bigger the ring, the longer it'll last. However, the size you wear shouldn't dramatically affect the Galaxy Ring's performance. It'll still keep going for at least 5 days or up to 10 days if you pair it with a Galaxy Watch, passively tracking your health. That's a pretty good ring of power if you ask me. There's no display on the ring, which is hardly surprising given its size, so you'll need to check the Samsung Health app for updates on your ring's battery life. You have the option of three colors, black like this one, titanium gold, and titanium silver. However, despite their appearance, all are constructed from scratch-resistant titanium, the materials aren't the only durability feature Samsung has implemented here. The concave shape of the ring also stops it getting damaged by protecting the majority of the surface. The ring isn't stuffed with features in the same way as a Samsung Galaxy Watch might be. With no display, ways of interacting with the device, or apps to speak of, it's designed to be a set and forget tracker that passively monitors your health over the course of the week, looking at heart rate, sleep quality, skin temperature, blood oxygen sensing, and much more. Galaxy AI allows it to intelligently monitor for unusual heart rate data and flag inconsistencies in these metrics. Your ring will generate an energy score for you each morning based on the quality of your sleep and your general activity levels, which is similar to the best Fitbit's daily readiness score or Garmin's body battery functionality. Collecting metrics via your ring or watch and scoring your well-being out of 100, Samsung Health can offer personalized advice, telling you to rest as much as you can or telling you to get out there and give it your all. Individual insights on steps, exercise, and blood oxygen levels are collected automatically. Menstrual cycle tracking is a big part of most health tracking tools these days, and the Galaxy Ring doesn't sound like it'll disappoint here either predicting cycles based on overnight skin temperature. Outside of health tracking, Samsung's even squeezed in some more general user applications too. And impressively, the Galaxy Ring even supports gesture controls. Simply pinch the air to dismiss an alarm on a Samsung Galaxy phone, or control a phone's camera shutter using the same pinch gesture to take the picture. Performance. I am very impressed with both the longevity of the little device and the level of insight the ring is able to offer. I've worn the ring during sleep, in the shower, during my work day, and during strenuous exercise, only taking it off a couple of times and placing it back in the case. This is the only time I've needed to recharge the ring, and so far, its battery hasn't dropped below 50%, which is really impressive. In terms of battery life, it's a rousing success. In terms of metrics, the Ring's step counter and heart rate monitor works nicely even when you wander away from your phone or turn off Bluetooth for a brief period, with the Ring feeding back to your phone once it reconnects. I'm not sure yet how long this memory will be retained for. It might do for a stroll around the Shire, but if you walk all the way to Mordor, I have doubts the Ring will be able to feed back to your phone after a year. You do get fantastic graphs for your sleep information, a meter bar for your heart rate and stress, showing how you're doing compared to your normal ranges, and information on your blood oxygen levels. The energy score is slightly less useful if you don't also wear a Galaxy Watch, as the ring doesn't automatically log structured workouts other than walking or running. Likewise, if you enjoy the gym, the ring isn't super suitable due to its risk of scratching against exercise equipment like dumbbells and handles. Final verdict. 
The Samsung Galaxy Ring is a well-rounded device that's a great set-and-forget wearable experience. Its software doesn't quite match up to market leader auras right now, and it's missing a few very small features, but its hardware is just as impressive. Its design is super sleek, and it doesn't need a subscription. Its price tag is still too steep right now, considering it has less functionality than a smartwatch, which costs less than the Ring, but overall, it's shaping up to be the real Lord of the Rings.